Can we set off? I've got the bow. We can get going. Great. Come with me. Where are you off to? Hey, Teresa, wait. There's a magpie's nest somewhere on that tree. Last time I was passing here, I saw that bird carrying something shiny to its nest. Listen, since you've got a bow, why not try and shoot the nest down? Adam does it all the time, so I'm sure there's nothing to it. It's not so easy shooting down a nest. Give me a little time. Come on. I wonder what's in it. We'll see. What about that nest, Tess? Or do you want to keep going? Wait before the magpie comes back. What about that nest, Tess? Or do you want to keep going? Good health to you, Teresa. I wonder what could be in that nest. What about that nest, Tess? Or do you want to keep going? I wonder what could be in that nest. Wait before the next one. I wonder what could be in that nest. I had a look in the nest. Yeah? And what did you find there? Not a thing. Just some magpie feathers. Ah. Oh. I could have sworn that bird carried something there. Pity. Oh well. Let's keep going. I wonder what happened here. I saw it the last time. But no one would put them in these pallets. Do you think they skidded up the road and something devoured them? Maybe. 
may be a wolf. I thought you didn't believe in the wolf. I don't. I, I didn't. Better keep going. Come on. the woods here and go uphill a bit. Follow me. Teresa, wait. This way. It's a sweet little garden, isn't it? I never met anyone here. But it's always well kept. Probably some witch. Who else would keep a garden in the woods? It's a shame that witch doesn't grow belladonna, too. Did... Did you hear that? We'd better keep going, alright? May the Lord watch over you, Tess. We are nearly there. We are going on the road here, yeah? and then back into the woods. This is the place. I'll start picking, and you keep a lookout. What should I do if the wolf turns up, though? You've got a bow, right? Don't think about it. Just shoot him. Besides, you've got Tinker. Although, I'm not sure he's any match for a wolf. How long will it take you? Just a short while. Don't worry. But while I'm at it, I'd like to pick enough to keep me going for a while. Just keep watch, and I'll tell you when I'm done. All right, I'll keep watch. Just make it quick. I'm glad I remembered this place.
God be with you, Teresa. I thought those rumors about a wolf were just idle talk. Idle talk, indeed. If I'd been alone, that beast would surely have devoured me. Did anything happen to you? No, I'm fine. Thank God. It's a good thing you came along. That was a funny looking wolf, don't you think? I reckon it was actually a wild dog. Wolf or dog? It was a monstrous beast. Henry will never believe this. Did you manage to pick enough herbs? Yeah, I did. Fortunately. I'll brew plenty of that liquor. Enough for you, too. As a reward. All right. Thanks. What will you do now? I'll go back to work at the tavern. There's been quite enough excitement for one day. Thanks for coming with me, Tess. And don't forget to come and see me tomorrow. All right. Hey, Teresa. God Almighty, has something happened to you? Did someone steal your fancy clothes? Is there someone here who'd compete with me in archery? Sure. There's always arrows flying here. First, I'll explain the rules to you. You shoot 7, 13, or 21 arrows, depending on who you're shooting against. The straw surround is worth one point, the white ring, two, and the bullseye, three. Whoever finishes shooting first gets three extra points. The round ends when everyone has finished shooting, and whoever has the most points wins. It's the custom to wager on it, to make it more interesting, see? The better the archers you shoot against, the higher the stakes. All right. That seems straightforward. Just one more thing. 
Don't leave while the contest is underway, and never aim or shoot at anything but the target. Otherwise, you're out. Got it? Got it. How good are you with a bow, so I can find you a suitable opponent? I'm a beginner. Doesn't matter. At least you'll get a bit of practice. Beginners shoot seven arrows around. Splendid! Here's some arrows for you, but you can use your own if you want. Meanwhile, I'll round up the competition. Everyone is ready? You can begin! Can we do something about the prize? Naturally. Satisfied? Come now, just a little more and we have a deal. I knew we'd come to an arrangement.
Silver is a capital crime. You get the pie for that. Why do you keep going on about it? What's it got to do with me? Teresa, I'm glad to see you. anyone's belly, eh? I feed a whole family with these two hands, while yours are only good for filling your own. Yohonka, what's up? I was asking around for you. There's something we have to talk about. Are you going to the dance this evening? I'd like to go and have a look, if I have time for it. Why? Do you want to borrow my dress? No, no. Nothing like that. I've got a dress, but... I don't want to end up dancing on my own. If you know what I mean. What? You want me to dance with you? <laughs> Imagine what folk would make of that. No, silly. I want Matthias to dance with me. So, what's the problem? Just go and tell him. You've had your eye on him since the Harvest Festival. Surely you must have noticed by now. He hasn't. I'm at a loss what to do. Can't you just go and invite him straight out? You must be joking. What if he doesn't like me? What if he's more interested in... No, not a chance. So you'd like Matthias to take you to the dance, but you don't want to tell him? That's right. How in heaven's name do you want to do it then? Easy. You're going to steal his lucky dice. What? How is that supposed to help, for Christ's sake? If you can get your hands on it without him noticing, he'll be looking everywhere for it. He'll be wandering around saying to himself, Where did I put that damned dice? And then, I'll turn up. God be with you, Matthias. You didn't by any chance lose your dice. And he'll say, Aye, Johanka, I did. 
Where on earth did you find it? Oh, I found it near the tavern. You know there's going to be a dance there this evening. And then he'll finally get the message. Oh, the dance. Yes. Johanka, wouldn't you like to go with me? Of course. I'd love to go with you, Matthias. Thank you for asking. Then he'll take me by the hand and he'll look... <clears throat> Never mind that. Um... Well, that's how it's going to help, more or less. You painted a very pretty picture, no doubt. But do you think it'll really work? I'm absolutely sure it will. All right, then. I'll help you. Thank you, Tess. Bring the dice to me as soon as you have it. Hang on, though. How am I supposed to find it? He was saying at the tavern yesterday that he keeps it in his trunk when he's not going to play. Go and see Fritz first. I heard he's always got some lockpicks, whatever he wants them for. Anyway, no doubt he can show you how to use one. Me? Pick locks? Yo, Honka, aren't you going a bit too far? Well, then... Maybe you can get hold of his key somehow. But whatever you do, don't get caught. And not a word to Matthias, for the love of God. Hey, Teresa. How are you? Listen, Fritz, I hear you know something about opening locks without a key. Sure. All you have to do is charge at the door. Shoulder first. I don't want to break down a door. I want to pick a lock. Ah, you want a lock pick then? Shh, not so loud. Well, I can give you some. But you know what they say. Not even a pig gun's for free. That's the stupidest thing I ever heard. Who says that? Ah, uh, mostly me. And everyone thinks it's fucking clever, so 
the bugger off. Will you teach me how to pick a lock? Sure. For a few groschen. What about this? More. Are you yanking my pizzle? I can't get drunk for that. More. A school like that is worth its weight in gold, you know. Will you teach me how to pick a lock? Sure. For a few groschen. What about this? Come now. Just a little more and we have a deal. It's easy as fuck, unless you're all thumbs. Listen, you've got to find a spot where the lock catches and press on it. And only then can you turn it. Nice and light though. No jerky movements. Like when you're caressing the girls. Uh, that is, um... I get it. Thanks. Hey, Fritz, how about giving me a couple of lock picks for free, eh? After all, we've known each other since we were little. All right, but just this time. If you break them, don't expect to get more for free. Just two? You said a couple, didn't you? I need a couple of lock picks. Can we do something about the price? Hmm, all right, so. Forget it then. I need a couple of lock picks. <laughs> Let's talk about the price. Well, we can try it. I would do it.
Come right up, good people. Herbs for your kitchen, as Good God, you look terrible. Did someone attack you? Can we do something about the price? Well, we can try it. That's a sum I can live with. Greetings. Tell me, Matthias, what do you think of Johanka? Johanka? Yeah, she's a nice girl. She helped the lads and me out of a few scrapes. Actually, she's always been good to us. Why do you ask? I suppose you'd like to go to the dance this evening? If you have someone to go with, you could ask Johanka. If you do, I'll dance with you too. <laughs> no offense, but if I wanted to dance with you, then I'd invite you, not Johanka. Besides, I don't want to ask anyone. I'd rather just get drunk with the lads. Johanka's a very nice girl, all right. Haven't you noticed maybe she's nice to you more than the others? Me? How do you mean? She's shy. You know how it is. You mean... she likes me? Supposing you were to ask her to the dance this evening. Really? You think she'd go with me? Well, I suppose I could, but... Wait, though. Maybe I should have a bit of a wash first. What do you think? Don't beat around the bush. Just go and ask her. There's nothing to it. Oh. All right. I'll try it. Healing her. Good day to you. What do you need? About Matthias. 
Yes? Tell me everything. I had a chat with Matthias and told him everything. What? Oh my god! You traitor! But he said he'd be happy to dance with you. I can't believe you'd... Wait, what did you say? I said he'd be very happy to dance with you. Just like that? What more do you want, an offer of marriage? He'll come to you and invite you. That's all. He's coming here! Oh my god, I have to get ready. Thanks, Tess. Thank you. Good day, Teresa. Who's there? Answer me. There. Who's there? God save you, Tess! Greetings, Tess. Whatever the ailment, I've got the remedy. Come right up, good people. Her
God be with you. I'd like to discuss the price. Naturally. Here, and something for your trouble. Thanks a thousand times. Hmm. That's it, Ethan. That's it. Some change for you. God be with you. Do you need anything? I'm getting desperate. My God, what happened to you? You look like you've been assaulted. Common for him. Oh, I see. That's a nuisance. Oh, can you think of anything I can do? Wait, it's all about the seasoning. Just roast it with a bit of lard, the same as you. I'll add some rosemary and ginger. God be with you. What can I do for you?
I reckon what you're trying to sell me is stolen. I'll pay less for that. Let's agree on the price then. What about this? That's still too much. I'll be with you, Teresa. Very well, I agree.
Dog save you, Tess. I've got a feeling you're trying to flog stolen goods to me. Don't expect me to pay full price. As long as we can both agree on the price. Are we agreed? A nice sum. Just lower your demands a little and we'll agree. Well, that's a decent price. Have you made your time? I How may I be of service? Just a few. Greetings.
No, no, that looks like stolen goods. I won't buy that. What can I do for you? That's not good. Here's your chance. I'll take this. How are you, Teresa? How are you? Good day, Teresa.
world, you know nothing. Where has reading ever filled anyone's belly, eh? I feed a whole family with these two hands, while yours are only good for pulling your own cock. What are you two quarrelling about here, for the love of God? This pipsqueak here claims studying is as hard a job as working in the stables. I most certainly did not, because study is of course much harder work than mucking out a bit of horse manure. See? That's what I'm talking about, and yet it's as clear as day. Hang on, what's as clear as day? That study is as hard as mucking out stables, if not harder. A man who doesn't work with his hands is an idler, and a good-for-nothing. Am I wrong? I'd like to ask you a couple of questions before answering. You're a scholar. What are you doing in Scalitz? I'm on my way to Sassau with letters. This ingrate here is stabling my horse overnight before I continue my journey. What does your work involve, student? I'm no student, but a baccalaureus. Having completed the trivium of the Faculty of Liberal Arts in the University of Prague, grammar, rhetoric and dialectics are my work. While this yokel wouldn't be capable even of learning Latin, Father arranged that I will serve as a teacher in Kuttenberg for two years before returning to the university to attend the quadrivium. To teach and be taught, that is real work. You serve Sir Radzik at the castle, don't you, Master Groom? Aye, and Sir Radzik is very pleased with my work. I can be rightly proud of what I do, and I bring home a nice wage, too. The children are fed, and the wife can buy herself a nice scarf from time to time. I'm satisfied with my lot. How many people can say that? What's so hard about your job, Master Groom? That's real work. Not like this parasite here does. On my feet from dawn till dusk, feeding, mucking out, grooming. By evening, I'm dead on my feet. I'm doing something real, see? Something that makes sense. Horses are needed for work, for the lords, for riding out, even in times of war. And someone has to care for those horses. All this good-for-nothing can do is mouth off. But he'd never be able to do a real job. That's all I need to know. You're both right, but not one of you has a grain of sense. Work is work, whether it's done with your hands or your heart. Ah, rhetoric worthy of Socrates himself, and out of the mouth of a woman. I bow to you, good maiden. The professors of Prague could learn a thing or two from you. Are you saying this good-for-nothing here who has to beg for his beer at the tavern is my equal? But to hell with it, I won't argue. God be with you, Teresa. I went for those nails, but the blacksmith is with Sir Radzik today. All right, leave it till tomorrow then. No hurry. Right now, I need something else. Quick. What's up? 
The guards were here asking around. They said someone's been stealing silver from the mines. Can you go and tell Stebor? He went to check the fish trap below the bridge. Hmm, all right. I'll go and talk to him. Pass at me. The guards were here, asking about Silver going missing from the mines. Oh shit. Oh shit. All right. All right. Listen, Tess. I need your help. Just say the word. What do you need? We need to pick up a sack from one of the mine shafts. I don't suppose it's a sack of flour you're talking about? It's... it's Silver Ore. Sweet Jesus. You fellas haven't the sense you were born with. But family is family. Thanks, Tess. I'm sorry to drag you into it, but I can't manage it on my own. Where did you hide it? That's the thing. It's at the bottom of a flooded shaft. Samuel was working there before. You dragged Samuel into it too? No, no. Samuel knows nothing about it. So why don't you just go and get it? I don't know how to get to it. For heaven's sake, Stebor! Do you know where it is or not? Yes, but you see, when I was carrying it out, they stopped me. I was standing on this wooden walkway and I dropped it over the edge so they wouldn't catch me with it. And now I don't know how to get to it. All I know is it made a splash when it fell. And how are we supposed to find it? Go crawling through the whole mine? No, I've got an idea. Samuel knows that area. He he'll know how to get to the shaft. Oh no, Stebor, forget it. You're not going to drag Samuel into your dangerous games. Christ, no. What do you take me for? All he has to do is draw a map, and we'll do the rest. Are you sure it's the same shaft where Samuel was working? Definitely. There's no other flooded shaft in the mine. Remember when everyone was talking about how they hit a spring and had to abandon it? All right, Stebor. I'll go to Samuel and get the map from him. Have you got something I can give him to draw it with? Here. Give him this. I'd try to get it from him without giving the game away. Otherwise, Pa will have a fit if he finds out. I'll do what I can. Where is Sammy now? Where do you think? I saw him heading for the fish pond, as usual, to avoid work. Once you have it, come and meet me at Wenceslas Corridor on the hill. I'll be waiting there.
day, Teresa. Be merciful to a poor beggar. I've seen you in Scarlet's, but I've never spoken to you before. No, not many people talk to me. Why is that? Why? Because I'm a stranger here, and people would rather look after their own than strangers. Why are you begging? I lost everything. I had a wife, a home, children. I had cattle and sheep. Then foreign soldiers came and took it all from me. They killed and burned. Only I survived. What soldiers do you mean? I don't know. One soldier's the same as the next. I fled far away to this peaceful land, as far as I could from the scene of my suffering. I'll give you something. Wait. A few groschen will do. Here you are. At least you can get yourself a bite to eat. Oh, thanks a thousandfold. God sees your good deed and will watch over you. Parts of ointment for the price of one. I don't know you, unless my memory deceives me. Where are you from, and what are you doing here? Have you not noticed? I'm saving lives. I came from far away, Sasau. ...to avert great misfortune. My God! What misfortune? All the misfortune of the world, my dear. For misfortune walks not over mountains, but over men. I have artifacts that will avert mine cave-ins. Swarms of locusts, bloody rain, and flaming swords. Not to mention, say... Unhappy love, perhaps? Do they really work? Have you ever seen Bloody Rain? No, I haven't. There, you see. I have remedies for all woes, and an answer for everything. Maybe that kind of talk might invoke those woes. 
Have you ever heard it said that no one can be a prophet in his own land? Um, yes. What's that got to do with anything? Well, here am I, far from my own land. What are these peculiar goods you're selling here? Things that bring good luck. Or bad, if that's what's needed. What are you after? No, wait, don't tell me. I, I know just what your heart desires. I have here an amulet that will ensure your safety and your whole families forever. Girls like you are always keen to have one. Really? An amulet can do that? Most assuredly. Ah, but unfortunately, I, I just sold the last one. However, I do have something even better. What is it? A map. Have you heard of the Scarlet's treasure? Scarlet's treasure? No. My dear child, you ought to ask your parents about it. Everyone knows about the Scarlet's treasure. But no one knows that I have a map to it. Then why don't you dig it up yourself? <laughs> Me? A spiritual man? <laughs> Please. I have no interest in worldly wealth. But you can have it for only a few groschen. No thanks. I've no time to look for treasure. Too much work to do, you know. About that map. Yes. Have you changed your mind? If it leads to treasure, as you say, how could I refuse? What about this? That's not enough. Here you have it. Happy hunting! Teresa! God be with you. Sammy, I need something from you. Oh, Tess, I just got ready for fishing. Don't worry, you don't have to go anywhere. Remember that mine shaft where you used to work before it got flooded? Yeah, it was a deep one. We went down that morning and we were up to our knees in water. Master Faithfar said that always happens when you dig deeper than the drainage added. We dug a well to slow it down, but even that wasn't enough. Do you think you could draw me a map of the way there? Why? What on earth would you want that for? Stebor dropped something there. Drop something? What? Never mind. You really don't want to know. Hang on. You want me to draw you a map to a mine shaft that's off limits, and I'm not supposed to ask any questions. Not a chance. You'll just have to trust me, Sammy. It's very important. It's a family problem. I might have known it'd be some Miller intrigue again. It's no wonder the folks say the things they do about us. Give me that and I'll draw it for you. I don't even want to know any more about it. Thanks. I'll run to him with it right away.
So, can we go and do it? I got that map from Samuel. What now? Great! Well, first, we've got to get into the mine. That fool Nimoy is keeping watch. It'd be best if we split up. I'll get rid of him, and you can sneak in. I want to ask you something. Why do I have to go inside? Why don't you do it? Well, remember when we used to play hide-and-seek? Yeah. You could never find me. And you always found me immediately, because I was useless at hiding. Yeah. You always had something sticking out. Exactly. You're right. Best if I do it. For sure. There won't be many people inside now. Most of the lads will be outside eating. But even so, watch out. Tell me again where I can find that sack. It's somewhere in that flooded shaft. It's a good thing I was on that walkway when they stopped me, otherwise I'd have had nowhere to drop it. Only now, you have to get down there. Who caught you? And how did you get out of it? The miners, of course. I told them I was looking for Samuel, but I still got a hard time from the guards for being there at all. That's all. All right. Let's get it over with, then. Once I get rid of him, you sneak inside past the bushes. And take a torch with you. It's as black as pitch in there. Just make sure no one sees you, though. Good luck, Tess. Come here a minute. Hi. Surrender. You've committed a crime. No, no. <laughs> you get what for? <laughs> Ugh! <laughs> 